Howdy folks, welcome back to my World of Tanks replays with the Mighty Jingles. Uh, we're still grinding that tier 9 medium tank XP for when 7.5 goes live. Today was a particularly depressing string of defeats on the E50. Um, just a little bit of backstory before we launch into this replay. Uh, it's just one of those days, I mean, everybody gets them. Uh, no matter what you do, no matter how well you do, you just run up defeat after defeat after defeat after defeat. I've been playing for about four hours on the E50 on and off um, right before this game and I couldn't get a, a win no matter what I did. Um, it was just it, it totally just sapped my will to live. Eventually I thought after not having a single victory on the E50 all night I just said screw this switch to the pattern couple of games on that, try to get a win, and then call it a night. Now, I am the only medium tank in this entire match. Um, and when this game started, this was, this was literally the very next game after the worst E50 match imaginable, right on this very map. And right now, I'm right in the spot where I was trying to hold this entire flank alone where while uh, four enemy tier 9 mediums came running up the field <laughs> and just bum rushed me uh, uh, it was just awful so if I appear to be playing this very very cautiously that's the context in which you're watching this game um, I've literally just come off this very map in this very position where I'd, I'd had my ass handed to me when all the medium tanks on my team just disappeared and left me alone defending artillery against a third of the enemy team by myself. Yeah, we've all had games like that. So I'm being very, very cautious here. And, yep, yeah, it starts as we mean to go on. We've already lost one. We've lost two. Pay attention to our two artillery. We have an M40, M43 and a GW Panther. The GW Panther is the kind of artillery player everybody hates. His score at the end of this match is minus one, and he had a damn good go at making it minus two at my expense. Told you. As I said in my other pattern video, Artie hates me. Even Artie on my own team hates me. Anyway, so here we go. Oh, now we're losing 4-1. So, I lost an E75, a Lurva, a Tiger 2, and an ISU 152. Now, I've not run into a single thing down this side of the field. I was playing it cautiously because they, they, are, they do have a bunch of IS-8s, and IS-8s are pretty quick. Um, and it wouldn't have surprised me at all if an IS-8 had tried to sneak around this side and take out our artillery. I almost wish one of them had. I would have escorted him to that GW Panther and let him kill the incompetent asshat. But anyway, getting ahead of myself. So I haven't run into anything at all here, but it's this game is not giving me a warm, fuzzy feeling. We've killed a Tiger II and an AMX 3090. Oh, let me start to pull it back. Nailed one of their tier 10s. And then our artillery strikes. Kills one of our ISs. Great. This is the kind of player that gives artillery a bad name. They're so greedy to get a kill, they fire into close combat. And they end up hitting friendly tanks. While we're on that subject, just if you have a look at my damage panel, just down here, follow the cursor, just around here is where hits that I take show up. Just, um, just keep an eye on that and see who exactly it is who deals the single largest hit to me in this game. So anyway, we're, we're losing pretty badly now. We've lost seven tanks. We've lost an M103. We've lost a... We've lost all the tier 9s. We've got one IS-8 left. We've got one artillery that 
well, it's not fair to say that he's not doing anything. I don't know how much damage he's inflicted. He hasn't killed anything. I think he's doing better than our other artillery. He's managed to do nothing but kill one of our own IS-3s. And at one point... I'm going to ram this fella. There we go. At one point I was genuinely considering, when I was looking at the way the scores were going here, screw this, I am not running up a repair cost for this bunch of retards. And I was just going to park in a bush over on the corner of the field there and just wait for the pain to end. But I thought, you know what? Screw this. Th this ends here. Red team, if you want to beat me this time, you're going to have to earn it. So now, we've pulled it back. We were losing 5-9. We're now losing 7-9. The enemy team don't have any artillery. I would feel a lot more comfortable if we didn't have any artillery as well. But we've turned the tables on the other team. Now, they're still winning, but our mouse player is doing extremely well. I bounce off the IS-8, and he misses. So I need to kill him now, because there's an IS-3 taking pot shots at me from the other side. Again, using this wreck as cover. This is deceptive. It looks like I can hit him, but it actually hits the wreck in front of me. Now, what's this? Okay, the IS-3's hit me and he's reset the cap, but I am much more manoeuvrable than him. Now I'm putting shots into his ass. Artie hits him for 270 and me for 387. Yeah, I tell you, Artie hates me. If, friendly art if enemy artillery can't kill me, friendly artillery goes out of their way to kill me anyway instead. It, it's just it's just the way things happen to me. And that mouse player played a blinder of a game, soldier kid. If you see him in a random game and, you m and a mouse, be afraid. That guy's good. And now, now put yourself in the position of the enemy team. They've got a tier 8 heavy and a tier 6 heavy. And on our side, we've got an incompetent artillery, a pan with 4 kills and a mouse with 5 kills. Would you be in any rush to come back to reset the cap? No, I wouldn't either. I'm just going to speed things up here because this is pretty much it. Except that IS-3 goes and puts that moron of an, artil of an artillery player out of his misery for me. And I swear I thought we'd lost this one. Um, but it just goes to show. Um, <laughs> never give up. Never surrender. Uh, th these are always, always the best games. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse and suddenly you pull a victory out of nowhere. And I really, really needed this result tonight. Uh, I think four hours of solid gaming, I'd managed a win on my AMX M445, but I didn't survive. I managed a win after three attempts on my Lorraine, and that was it. Four hours solid playing, it was just defeat after defeat after defeat after defeat, mostly on the E50, until I pulled this one out of my ass, and I thought, that's it, <laughs> I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> um, I stopped playing after this one, I didn't want to push my luck. But, hell of a game. Um, got an invader out of it, obviously. Um, four good kills. Clipped that IS-8 when I was uh, sneaking around the side. Detected a few to be expected um, you know it's a pattern 420 meter view range and that's not a bad you know it's a good solid it's nearly 1500 XP undoubled good game you can always rely on the pattern it doesn't matter how bad a night you're having just get in the pattern and and kick some ass because it's it's a great tank um, and I'm really looking forward to the M48A1 when that one comes out on the, on the 7.5 um, another good one uh, accuracy on the move on that thing is just amazing um, so yeah there we go the pattern um, the game that saved my evening uh, <laughs> my will to live had been completely eroded up until this point and the pattern did me proud hell of a game I hope you enjoyed watching it
catch you next time.